the most important item, that premium toilet paper. We all know those washroom trips just aren't as enjoyable when the toilet paper isn't double ply. What's going on everybody? What is up Team Furious? How are you guys? Welcome back to another Road to 500 episode. Okay, first and foremost, I wanted to apologize to you guys for the lack of episodes lately of the Road to 500. And it's not because I gave up, because if you guys have been following me for all these years, I do not give up. Today's video is sponsored by LifeSum app. Some of you guys may already own this app because it's extremely popular and it's extremely useful. LifeSum is a health, weight loss, or a weight gain app that you can track your diet, all your macros, all the food that you're eating, your workouts. You can download recipes and even find workouts. I find one of the hardest things to do, especially with a busy schedule, stressful schedule, is staying on top of meals, staying on top of food to make sure that I've eaten a enough or even sometimes when you're stressed maybe too much and that's why I love this app especially this feature I personally haven't seen this on any app before and that is the barcode scanner so let's say we're about to have a snack and I'm about to eat an item I've never eaten before we can either just enter the amount of calories you think it is or maybe a recent item or check different categories but what I like is that other part that you see right there the barcode scanner so I don't even know how to look for this item that I'm gonna explain in a a little bit, but they're like coconut chips, coconut, dried coconut. I don't really know how to, for example, search for that in category or better yet, maybe I'm just a little bit lazy. So what I can do is this, watch. So I take my phone, the barcode scanner, and just like that, it tells me how much one serving is. And so let's say you ate one ounce, you can just add that and you are done. Ah, uh, let's say I had some carrot juice, because carrot juice is awesome and it's good for you. And then when I go back to my initial page, it'll have all my items listed. And then of course, it'll tabulate everything that you ate right there. You can download the app for free. I personally do have the premium app, so you can download this app for free. I'll leave a link in the description below for you to do so. And you like what you see and you want more recipes and maybe more specific meal plans, then go ahead and check out the premium version. I'll show you guys that I haven't just fallen off and given up completely even after taking time off from an injury. This was yesterday's lift. Yep. 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 Dedicated for life, D for L. There is a reason why I live by those words. But unfortunately, like you guys saw, there were some setbacks with some tendonitis. The YouTube algorithm that totally destroyed my channel since uh, the end of November. You guys have seen that firsthand where videos are you just like, what's going on here? What happened? What happened? What happened to your channel? And obviously that, that becomes discouraging to make videos. I am getting back into it. I am going to go full force into this. I'm going to upload on YouTube. I'm going to upload these on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything. I know a lot of you guys joined this series to start your own road, whether it being 500, maybe 600, maybe 400, maybe 300, maybe 200, whatever your goal may be, I hope you guys are progressing well, or maybe you've achieved it already and you're starting another road. Today, we're gonna go over a topic that has been widely requested. People were asking me, what do you eat on a regular basis? A lot of people just see me doing eating challenges, don't really see me eat on a day-to-day. -day. They just think, oh, he eats 10 burgers for breakfast, lunch, 
and then dinner. That is not the case. So today we're gonna do a Costco shopping haul. I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I bought from Costco the other day, how and why I incorporate them into certain meals. So today I'm gonna explain exactly what I got at Costco the other day and how I eat it and what I use it for. And uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's go ahead and start with my favorite item, the most important item, that premium toilet paper. We all know those washroom trips just aren't as enjoyable when the toilet paper isn't double ply. Toilet paper premium, two ply. I don't really care what brand it is. Uh, this was on sale. I'll get the Costco one as well, Kirkland one. Uh, they're all good. Uh, you guys watch my snaps. Uh, I, I, I mean, I mean we, we all like to go to the washroom. We all need to go to the washroom. So this, this is a necessary thing after you eat. <laughs> Getting that out of the way. Let's start off with some frozen items so that I can put them back into the freezer before they all melt away here and Maldiva gets all upset that there's a big puddle of water from, from all the berries and frozen vegetables. So uh, I will go over these. I always buy these big bags uh, of frozen berries. I love my raspberries and I also love my blueberries right here. Uh, if you guys have seen these brands, I really like them. They're very, very tasty. Um, I have tried like the Kirkland ones, not as good. Not as good, like the, they, they do like bigger blueberries. Like the blueberries here are much smaller. The Kirkland ones are like much bigger and not as like sweet. Um, so I definitely do recommend like, if you're really picky about your blueberries, like I am, then definitely uh, opt for the Boreal Wild Blueberries. Definitely way tastier than the other ones. I think the Kirkland ones come in two kilogram bags. These are 1.5. Um, these are organic raspberries, frozen ones, but they are much, like when you compare the prices to like smaller bags in the store, it is it is like cheaper and better quality in my opinion. Besides, I use so much of these that like I'll go through two, like, a, like one bag of raspberries and one bag of blueberries every one to two weeks. Depending kind of on the weather and just, just my mood in general, but I eat a lot of frozen berries. I just, I just simply love them. And I really do think they are a very important part of any person's diet. Uh, lots of vitamins, lots of fiber, antioxidants, all that good stuff. The next item I have is some frozen vegetables. I actually, we, this is like the best stir fry blend that we've found so far. Um, obviously there's a number of different frozen vegetables. The reason we have frozen vegetables or fresh ones, um, we do, you know, get, fresh ones here and there. I find that in the summer, especially I get more than in the winter time. Simply being is it's, it's a lot easier to get more fresh vegetables and more quality vegetables. And um, But I find that when I have frozen vegetables, it's just easier. When I'm finding it hard to eat with a very busy schedule, this just becomes way easier. I just throw it into a pan. I already have, for example, grilled chicken breast in the, in the fridge. I cut up some grilled chicken breast. I throw that into the pan with some vegetables, put it over some rice and I'm done. You know, I don't have to worry about chopping up all these vegetables. Mind you, that has its place. Uh, if I have a weekend and uh, you know, I have some time, then I'm all for it. I'm all for it. But if I wanna cook something up real quick, this is my jam. This is my jam and it, it definitely is a lifesaver. A lot of people don't eat enough vegetables because they don't wanna buy massive quantities of everything and they can't fit it in their fridge, right? And then sometimes it just goes bad, it goes moldy. I've gone through that, I'm sure you've gone through that. So that's why we uh, we often opt for a bunch of frozen veggies as well. So staying in the vegetable aisle, I also get uh, some salad packs from Costco. We usually get like uh, two or three of these depending on, uh, depending on our diet at the time. Right now it's about one that we get every time because we find whenever we get two, uh, just the leaves start to go bad and they just, not so tasty, but definitely a uh, better value than in the store here. Uh, we find that it's about like half the price. That's why we get usually a bunch of these. So this is very simple. It's a wash spring mix. Uh, we'll toss maybe a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of balsamic in there. Toss that, maybe uh, do a taco salad, chicken salad, or even just a salad on its own besides something else that I'm making, maybe some eggs whatever it is that I'm making, uh, this is definitely very convenient. You just open up the package, you can seal it back up, just take out what you need and you're good. Also, uh, I really like these Angel Sweet Tomatoes. Uh, they are, I don't know, at least here in Canada, they're everywhere, they're these nice baby grape tomatoes. They are beautiful, they are very sweet. 
I love my tomatoes. If you guys know way back when, like for the past like 15, 20 years, I used to eat like whole tomatoes, like the big ones. I eat them like apples all the time. I don't like a Polish thing, but I love my tomatoes. Obviously these are great in a salad, but sometimes I'll like chop them up finely, throw them in with some scrambled eggs, or just simply eat them on its own, just like it was just now. Next what I have is of course some eggs. So these are whole eggs. Uh, this would be two dozen whole extra large eggs. And then I have eight containers of egg whites. I go in phases where sometimes I love egg whites on their own, sometimes I like just whole eggs, and sometimes I like to mix the two. So uh, right now I'm doing like half and half. So I'll do like a cup of egg whites plus like three or four whole eggs. I'll mix that up, sometimes I'll eat that with some oatmeal, sometimes with some toast, sometimes just on its own with a side of avocado, depending what I'm going for. So uh, I'm generally, my diet revolves around protein and fat. I'm not on a keto diet specifically, but those are the meals that satisfy me the most. I do carbs generally around a workout and in the morning for breakfast just to keep me going because because I definitely do find breakfast still being that meal that really just pushes me to have a really good day. Speaking of eggs, if I wanted to find a really cool recipe on the LifeSum app, I would simply go into our recipe section here. A lot of people obviously get sick and tired of eating eggs. Um, so we can go ahead and search here and uh, find some really cool stuff. Ooh, this one, wow, man, I would really want to do this. Baked avocados with eggs. How awesome does that look? Very, very simple. Two large avocados, two teaspoons of lemon juice, four medium eggs, one red onion, 200 grams of tomatoes. Probably get rid of the onions because I'm, I'm not an onion guy. One teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, quarter teaspoon of Tabasco sauce, and 80 grams of smoked bacon. Top off with a little bit of salt and pepper. And yeah, this is very straightforward. Tells you all the macros. This is definitely a more keto style recipe, but damn, I would uh, I would eat this in a heartbeat. I, I really want to make this today. This is this looks fantastic. And as some of you guys know, I really like my salsa. I know it's very high in sodium. The vegetables probably aren't too good. It's, that's good for you, but I love the flavor, right? So I love to mix it with eggs. Um, it just it just makes my eggs that much more delicious. But I like to mix it uh, during, not after, because generally speaking, I keep my salsa in the fridge so it's cold, and I don't really want to cool off my eggs. So I mix it in while they're in the pan, so uh, scrambled eggs, or if I'm doing an omelet, I'll just put it right in the middle. The other dairy products that I have here is just a simple cottage cheese, uh, very high in protein. Uh, I'll eat this all throughout the day, breakfast, snack, uh, as part of a lunch or a dinner. I love my cottage cheese. I also love hard pressed cottage cheese. Uh, this comes in a little packet like that, comes in a two pack. This also comes in a two pack, but I already destroyed one yesterday. I've been eating this since I was a little kid. I never actually knew it was super healthy and super high in protein. Way more protein than in this kind of cottage cheese. Way less sodium. In short, if you are really strict with your diet, definitely aim for this kind of cottage cheese. The hard pressed cottage cheese is wonderful. Um, it is, it tastes good. I mean, some people will find it, oh, it's dry, it's gross, whatever. I don't know, I love it. If you don't like it, maybe even sprinkle a little salt on it. Maybe put a little bit of peanut butter on top. Uh, it's great on toast. I actually like to put this in, some, in the middle of eggs as well. It actually melts just a little bit. It's weird. I, I'll do like a video with it uh, one day, and, but it's absolutely fantastic. For three quarters of a cup, that's 125 grams. There's one gram of fat, 130 calories, one gram. Actually, you know what? Let's find out if our scanner is actually going to read this. Let me see here. There we go. It actually read everything. It's pressed cottage cheese. Uh, so here, one serving is 2.5 ounces, right? So let's say for 80 calories, 2.5 ounces, you have two grams of carbs, one gram of fat, and 15 grams of protein. Here, for example, I have 130 calories, and it gives me 27 grams of protein, three grams of carbs, 
only 35 milligrams of sodium. So that is like the awesome part. Cottage cheese, on the other hand, like the regular kind, has something like 390 milligrams of sodium per half cup. It adds up like, I could eat this, no problem. And then I'm like, I got like almost like half the sodium that I need for the day. And that is a problem, obviously, but uh, it tastes good, so sometimes you got it. And then of course, I got some Greek yogurt, uh, another very, very great protein source, uh, high in obviously calcium as well, but 17 grams of protein, six grams of carbs, and zero fat for every 100 calories or three quarters of a cup. I'll add some nut butters into there, which we'll go over next, just because it definitely do, does tie into everything here. Uh, I have two nut butters. Uh, one is just a regular natural peanut butter. Obviously just the natural stuff that I get from Kirkland. This also actually comes in a two pack, very good value and it's really tasty. I don't know, some natural peanut butters just, obviously the peanuts will vary, right? The roasting will vary and this, this is fantastic. Also, the almond butter is great value as well. Um, I'll use one or the other. Sometimes I'm just in the mood for almond butter. Sometimes I've had maybe too much uh, peanuts, you know, throughout the day snacking. This is another container of peanuts that I will get. Usually I get like the Alden's unsalted mixed nuts, but I just wanted just something different. These are salted. Um, usually I go for the unsalted because there's only so many salted peanuts that you can eat. At the moment, you know, I'm eating these, for example. I'm not necessarily gonna want more peanut butter, but almond butter I could have. And I'll mix this in with a little bit of Greek yogurt or even into my cottage cheese. It is absolutely wonderful. And obviously a very healthy fat source that you can mix uh, your proteins and your fats together and have a very, very delicious meal, snack whatever it may be. Next, I have some ground turkey. Melissa and I love uh, to, to buy some ground turkey, mix it up. We very often put some taco seasoning, some low sodium taco seasoning into this. We can't get that at Costco, unfortunately, um, but we buy it in just a local store. Um, but a nice low sodium taco seasoning on top, and so we'll, we'll cook that up. We'll put it in the fridge. We'll put it, we'll either eat it like with rice, or we'll even sprinkle it on salad, so have a little taco salad. Um, and it just, it's great. It's a lean protein, very, very easy to make. It's quick and easy and it tastes good. Generally don't buy too much fresh protein or like uh, meats from Costco. Reason being is I like to buy small amounts at a time. I'd rather go locally, like uh, just local store and just buy a smaller quantity just to make sure that it is fresh when I do make it. Sometimes, you know, I'll buy a bunch of stuff from Costco and I'll buy too much and then I'm just left with, you know, after a week, I sometimes I notice that, oh, I have all these chicken breasts I need to cook up. Oh, I have all these steaks I didn't cook up. And so to avoid that, I usually just go locally to uh, my local butcher or just a uh, regular uh, grocery store. Also, I have these cans of chunk chicken breasts. Sometimes uh, I'll eat tuna as well. Obviously, this is just chicken in a can. I don't recommend eating these every day, but when you're in a pinch, these come in handy. Uh, quick and easy source of protein. One of these cans will yield you 52 grams of protein. So uh, if, you, if you need some chicken very fast, or you can top it on salad or or put it on top of some some rice that you might have in the fridge It's just convenient and uh, one of those things that is there if I need it if I can't do anything else Next we got some regular rice obviously you can get rice pretty much anywhere nowadays But we'll get some from Costco often we'll cook up like four or five cups and eat some that day, and then we'll keep some in the fridge. Very easy just to scoop out some protein, scoop up some, 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 cooked, uh, some cooked chicken, either throw it in the pan or throw it in the microwave and you're done. You're done, or eat it cold, whatever it may be. You might have to put it into a container uh, when, when, when you're traveling around or, or you're at work. Just put it in a container. If you have the luxury of heating it up, great. If not, just eat it cold. You won't die, you'll be fine. Next, I have cereal. Now you might be thinking, whoa, Pete, that doesn't look too healthy. Dude, I love cereal, okay? I love my cereals, I do. I have lots of cereals, but this one came from Costco. All my other cereals didn't come from Costco. Sometimes I got Vector, sometimes I got other cereals. So this is what I do. All right, this is a little secret recipe. Not really secret. But what I do is uh, I eat cereal with some protein powder, some almond milk, and frozen berries. And it is wonderful. I put a scoop of protein into uh, a bowl. I pour in a little bit of almond milk. I mix that protein up just to make sure it's no longer powdery. Then I'll put in some cereal. Then I'll put in frozen berries. And then I'll top it up with the rest of the almond milk. And I mix it together and it becomes like a really cold, cold cereal. And at the end of the day, we have healthy berries, we've got almond milk, we've got protein, 
And we have some carbs. I mean, we're doing pretty good at the end of the day, if you think about it, right? Last couple items that we have here are some coconut chips. This is just toasted coconut slices. It is so freaking good. There's, it's just coconut. There's a bunch of stuff that I've seen out there that are like loaded with sugars and like they'll even coat it with some other oils or something. I mean like this doesn't need oils. It's already fat. This is like, this is your fat source, okay? But it's a good fat source. Tastes amazing, okay? Uh, it, I mean, it looks exactly like you see in the picture. If you love coconut, if you've never tried these things, it's like, you'll be like, oh my God, why haven't I had these things in my life? They are so freaking good. They're crunchy, they're delicious. In fact, sometimes when you bite into like a more thicker piece, it actually feels cold in your mouth. Isn't that weird? It's true, like it feels cold when you like bite through it. It's, it's awesome, it's absolutely, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, so if you love coconuts and you need an extra fat source, do it. Then we have some organic pumpkin seed kernels. I'm a big fan of pumpkin seeds. I like the way they taste. They're actually a very high source of protein compared with other seeds. For example, uh, for every third of a cup, 25 grams of fat, but it has 15 grams of protein. So compared with other seeds, this definitely is a higher protein seed and it is delicious. Next, we got some Mary's crackers. Uh, sometimes when I, when I want to crunch, I just, I don't even know if these are really that great for you, but it's organic, 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 organic quinoa, brown rice, flax seeds, sesame seeds. I mean, on paper, they don't seem too bad for you. Uh, obviously, if you eat too many of these, it's never a good thing, but it's great for, for dipping and stuff. Or I even like to eat it with my eggs. Sometimes we actually dig and take this and, and crush it onto salads for a nice crunchy salad. That's a secret recipe that I don't even know if I was about, allowed to talk about. But it's delicious, it's fantastic, and uh, I highly recommend uh, trying these things if you haven't, but I'm, I'm pretty sure you have. This is like a staple in most people's houses now. Second last is some coconut oil. I have found that the best prices for coconut oil is at Costco, and usually I just get like a big uh, tub like this. This is great with a spoon, or this is great for cooking with. They're both uh, very, very good options. As you can tell, I like my coconut, so this is my oil of choice when I am cooking, because it's, it's delicious, I, I love it, and it just, it just makes the food taste better for me. Obviously, I use olive oil as well when, uh, when it's appropriate to use that, but whenever I can, I'll use my coconut oil. And lastly, some vitamin C. Always get yourself some vitamin C from Costco. I've had these in my household since uh, I can't even remember, since I was five or something like that, and I would eat them all the time. Uh, I think it's really important to obviously have vitamin C in your diet just to keep your immune system boosted. Some of us definitely don't get enough vitamin C and if you take in too much, don't worry, you'll pee it out and you'll be just fine. Of course, if you have a solid multivitamin like the essential multivitamin from Furious Formulations, you'll be fine as well as of course, this gives you 166% of your daily recommended intake, but never hurts to have a little bit of vitamin C lying around the house. And of course, never forget to have some Goku Gains lying around your house call for those epic workouts. Thanks again to LifeSum for sponsoring today's video. Definitely do download the app. The link will be down in the description below. Check it out, honestly. Tracking your meals is so important and they also have awesome programs. For example, their weight loss Kickstarter is a three week program for effective weight loss. Pre-planned, easy to cook meals with five ingredients or less. Plus, there's a cheat day option and we all know. We all know we love our cheat days. Especially me. I like my cheat days. <laughs> Anyways, guys, make sure you guys download the app. It's in the description below. And if you guys like what you see in the free version, definitely check out the premium version. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. The road to 500 is back. I am fired up. I'm ready to conquer once again. Get ready, guys. I have a lot of haters out there, but I have way more believers. We are Team Furious. We are in this together. Dedicated for life, my friends. That's right. You, me, we are gonna conquer our roads. We're gonna conquer all our goals. So get ready, guys. The road to 500, we are head on. I cannot wait. Let me know what else you guys wanna see in these Road to 500 episodes. As always, my friends, we are Team Furious. We are dedicated for life. And of course, you guys stay sexy, stay hungry, get gains, and get laid. Boom.